Okay, so we're gonna do a mini album. This is a really fun size to do. This is called a waterfall album. And I'm going to be using Catch of the Day products. That is the collection of papers and embellishments from Graphic 45. I have my trusty Tim Holtz scissors and Micron pen for journaling. This is the kind of pen, the type of pen I like the best for journaling and scrapbooking because it's archival safe and waterproof. Not that I'm planning to get my scrapbook wet, but it is a catch of the day <laughs> theme. Um, adhesive. So this is because I'm not putting this in a traditional scrapbook. I um, am gonna want with pa with page protectors. I'm gonna want to use um, some really strong holding tape uh, glue. So my favorites for this would be a score tape, which is a double sided sticky tape that you can peel, you can tear. This with the little has a little white label on it. The sticky is on this side, so it's very very strong holding. Um, if you don't like tape like that, this is the best glue stick that there is. Glue sticks um, generally are mostly wax. This has no fillers like that. This is pure paste. It's extraordinarily strong. But the advantage of using this over tape would be a tiny bit more long. You have a little bit more time wiggle room for getting your uh, elements, photos, whatever down tight. Um, but this is very, very strong. If you prefer a liquid glue, this is a pretty good one to use, but I'm probably going to use one. Or, I'm probably going to use mostly um, score tape. Okay. So this album is eight, seven, not quite seven and a half squared. Yeah. And the album is also from Graphic 45. I'm going to walk you through the album, but in the meantime, let's look through the papers really quick. I hope you're all having a great Memorial Day weekend. Kick off your weekend. There is a coupon for Craft Warehouse this weekend. Make sure you check that out. It's actually a couple of, one or two um, posts down from this post near this video is a copy of the coupon. Okay, um, so this is the catch of the day. This is the collection pack you, and we sell this also in an eight by eight. When you get, when you buy the collection pack, you get two sheets of stickers. And I just love this um, entire collection. It's very well done, it's very pretty. It has a masculine feel. And even though the subject is sort of um, seaside, uh, you certainly could use this for, hi Jennifer, you certainly could use this for um, not just beach things. It's great for 4th of July. It's really great for Father's Day. There's a lot, and I, I'm going to go through and show you all the papers. So you get two of each. I have the front side and the back side showing you here. So there's lots of papers that aren't specifically um, oceany, like this plaid that you can use for other occasions. Look at this one, isn't this pretty? And sort of the net. And then there's going to be some papers that, like this one that you can cut apart and use just the different elements. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that in the book. Here we've got little mini anchors. Nice, nice addition of the red and the rest, kind of a nice faded uh, orangey red instead of uh, pinky red, which is nice. Keeps it a little bit more masculine, I think. We have the fish. These are cut apart strips. So you're gonna cut it this way and have strips or you can cut them into smaller bits and I've done both on my project. We've got the crabs. I think this works for m both uh, uh, west and east coasts. The look in here. Maybe you have vacation photos that you wanna um, do a vacation uh, memory book is great for a mini size. It's also great for a, let's look at the album. Also great for a brag book of any kind or maybe a gift for, for, for uh, dad. So here is the book itself. It is a crafting color. Let me show you how, why it's called a waterfall book. So it's actually very interactive. It has a pocket here. So you can slide memorabilia in here or photos in here. If this page right here is also a pocket. Somebody lift it up this way. So you have a nice wide pocket here to put lots of memorabilia, photos, maps, whatever, uh, a menu from the restaurant you went to, whatever you might like. And then this is the waterfall portion. Then you have two. We have a landscape and a portrait. You do not have to put your photos in landscape and portrait mode. You can do it whatever way you want. What's neat about these 
is this flap has a little magnet in it right here. And this first page has a magnet behind. Can you see that? And so that will hold your waterfall closed. And the same on this side. And so you get several sheets. So this gives you so much room for photos. I mean, look at all the space for photos in this little mini book. And it's very interactive. It's fun to look through and play with. And then this one is the same idea. It's just that it got a few photos in there. It's just that it goes the other direction. So to decorate it, what I've done so far is I've just simply taken some of the papers from this uh, collection and trimmed them about a quarter inch smaller than each par portion of the book, including the seams or the binding on everything. Um, for something like this, you simply tr cut this portion and then just trace with pencil. And then I just cut that with a pair of scissors, that little bit there. Um, and this was just, is just, you just measure and then you just trace and then cut. So, the, and then all of this, every bit of paper you see on here right now has all been glued down with the embellishment glue stick. This is, if I could only, I'm a glue snob, honestly, I, I fully admit it, I am a glue snob. I'm I, uh, very, very picky about what kind of glue I use. This is photo safe. Um, so I, I, I hope that instills a little bit of confidence <laughs> in what I'm saying. This is the glue that I use for everything. And if, if someone really twisted my arm or I was on a deserted island and I could only have one scrapbook glue, <laughs> this is what I would pick, hands down. Hands down. I do believe in a, the right glue for the job, but if I could only have one, this is gonna cover almost everything I need and I know it'll hold. It's a very, it's a forever hold. Okay, so I thought during this uh, live video, I would go through and uh, add some photos and I'm happy to chat with you. Hi, Heidi. Yeah, you definitely need to try this glue. Once you try it, you won't go back. And also it's really affordable. I think it's like $2.99 and you, it's unlike any glue you've ever used before, I promise you. And the cool thing is, not only is it inexpensive, but everybody was trained like in preschool how to use a glue stick. So. <laughs> Let's add some photos. Um, actually, on this, where did I see that page before? Oh, this side. On this side, which is the middle of the album, I have a really cool photo that I wanted to put there. And so I've already got my score tape on the back. Here's a little tip for you. If you don't have nails or if you're gonna do a lot of lifting of this, of this kind of adhesive, which is the score tape, um, if you don't have nails or you're going to do a lot of it, get yourself a little um, piercer or pokey device. <laughs> this is actually a die pick, but something like that. And then you can just kind of wiggle it under the paper and easily lift it off. I opted to do the score tape for the photos in this book. Um, Certainly, you can use the embellishment glue stick um, just as well. I just thought it might be a little faster in a video for me to use this. And then I thought on this page, it might be fun to add one of these stickers or a couple of these stickers. I really like this lighthouse. These stickers are nice. They're a nice cardstock weight. Yes, pokey devices are so important. <laughs> And I kind of like to have stuff, have embellishments and things like right directly on the photos. I feel like it's, in my head, I call that magazine style, <laughs> but it's kind of having the graphics and stuff overlay your photos. I just think it looks, it then it becomes part of the book. And also, um, you know, wink face, it also acts as another adhesive for you. <laughs> okay, so I thought that was cool. And let's go inside and let's add a few pages or a few photos in here. Now, even though I'm doing catch of the day in this book, obviously the book comes completely blank. It's just a craft book. So craft this color. So you could easily um, make this whatever theme you wanted to. You know, um, you're not locked into, uh, just cause I'm using catch of the day doesn't mean you have to have this look. You could, this could be great for a baby book. 
um, um, your uh, record of your gardening. Actually, realizing you actually have the back side of each of these pages too. So I didn't put any paper on there, but you could if you wanted to. So this, yeah, I was saying you could do your garden, you could do a baby book, you could do you know your senior year of college or high school or whatever. Be a great graduation gift. You could do like the, the through the years, all those school picks. <laughs> um, you could do you could do a whole book just purely on um, the pandemic. You know, your reaction to it, what you did, what you didn't do, what you, what your thoughts were about it, all of that kind of stuff. And might seem like, why would you want to scrapbook something that wasn't necessarily the greatest time? <laughs> Uh, because it happened, it happened in your life, and documenting what happens in your life is important, good and bad. And future generations are going to want to know, you know, what you did, <laughs> what you thought about it, because this is a, obviously a major milestone in all of our lives, you know. If you don't have, if you're like in your 20s or 30s right now, you know, one day you're going to have grandchildren and... They're, and they're going to ask you about growing up and what you did and all of that. And you're going to be able to say, you know what? Back in the 20s, there was a time when it was illegal to breathe on our neighbor. <laughs> you got to make, you, you got to have fun, right? Okay, so to see how fast this is coming together, though, it's really quite fun. You could definitely make it, make the album in an afternoon. And then you don't have to use every one of these pages for photos. You could definitely use them for journaling if you wanted to. Um, if, you, if you're an artist or someone that you're documenting as an artist, you could include their artwork. And like I was saying, definitely memorabilia. If you have, um, from whatever the occasion is, receipts even are very interesting to, to save. You know, if you went to the coast and you went to, um, you know, and you bought some, some taffy, you know, how much did you pay for that taffy? That's interesting. It is. I know the stories. Like, <laughs> I know we have so many stories to tell our kids or that we should. I like to say, I mean, journaling is very important. I think it's more important than anything else when it comes to memory keeping. That's just, it's a personal opinion, but I do believe that to be true. Um, and you don't, if you don't feel comfortable using your own handwriting, um, you could, you can resort to using um, the computer, you know, and documenting that way. I, I prefer handwritten. I think it's really much more personal but if the only way you'll do it is on a computer, if that's the only way that you will go to, go to the trouble of journaling, then just do that. That's more important. I'm going to put these ones at an angle because they're smaller and it adds a little interest. And then throughout all of these, so when I was cutting all of these um, papers and putting this book together, I... Um, had, oh, I didn't want to cover up. I'm going to go, I'm going to save this for a different page. I'll put a sticker here. I don't want to cover up his stack row. Um, when I was cutting all of these papers, these are the scraps from cutting the papers. And so I saved all of these and I do have some different, because I, I, I never know if I'm going to need, need them or use them. And I saved some of these little bits. This is from that sheet that's all of the borders that I thought I could include on some of these. Ooh, I like it right there. I'm, I, some of you I know are really sticklers for saving all these scraps and I honestly, I am not. I don't, unless, if it's less than half a page, I usually don't save it, but, but, I know, I know. Some of you are like smacking your head. What? Um, 
but in this occasion I had just cut all these and I hadn't thrown the, the scraps away yet and then I got to looking at them because I'd done so much cutting of trimming to make all these little borders I thought I'm just gonna hang on to these until I have the album finished so I know that it, I'm gonna put it up here because I can still see their reflections see that's cool that added a whole it looks very magazine like don't you think I'll add that one there so yeah, I save these and belt these little strips and I think I'm gonna throw them in the book somewhere. Even though the book is starts out craft, you could alter this with ink if you wanted to and change the color up a little bit. I've chosen to keep all of my papers um, clean, <laughs> meaning I haven't distressed them or aged them at all, but if you did wanna do that, you would probably have better luck if you inked all the edges first and then went to gluing them down. Kathy, you didn't see the album state? Yeah, that's right. These have been out of stock for some time now. We've desperately been trying to get them in. I did hear from uh, Graphic 45 yesterday, late yesterday, that they do have their hands on them and they're shipping them this next week. So we will probably have this particular album um, next probably by next Friday. We do have some other mini albums, um, including da -da, this one. Um, this one is also interactive. It has pockets and stuff. You can even get this accessory pack to add even more to that will go with this to add waterfalls and zigzags and tags and pockets. So as similar interactive as this, although this one will be white. And we also have um, flip books. These are a four by six mini album. I just did the, a, a video on this um, on Monday over in Paper Crafts group. So if you'd like to see how to put these together, you can check out that video over in the Paper Crafts group. So there's lots of, mini albums are fun. And like I said, you can get them done in an afternoon and feel very accomplished with yourself. <laughs> Okay, and we can add embellishments wherever we want. Go back to my stickers here. Ooh, I like this one. This goes great with the kids. An adventure awaits. Smooth seas never made a skilled sailor. Coastal breezes. I love, this is why I love using a collection pack because no matter what I pick, out of all of these papers and all of my scraps and these stickers, they all coordinate. I don't have to worry. Is this going to work? Is this going to match? It, yeah, it is going to match. You have no worries. It even includes some that we could, um, it even includes some that you could journal on. I'm looking for a good sticker for this one. Where's my... Maybe the, th maybe the photo is enough on that one. So you can see how easy it is. And then on this, for this pocket one, um, I was thinking you could take, like I said, you could put ephemera or you could cut a piece of paper to go inside of there and we could put photos on that. So if, if you, have you made a mini album before? What did you make it of? And who, what, you know, what was your theme or the idea behind it? Was it a gift or was it for yourself? thinking this will be a fantastic Father's Day gift. It'd be a great, you could definitely do like your summer bucket list. You know what I mean? Like, um, 
um, just keep just, just take photos throughout the summer of, of the activities that you do, and then you could record your record what you did and how it turned all turned out for you. Heidi's made Halloween and Easter. Julia made it one for her daughter. Um, Tammy, not yet, but you want to get one of these. Yeah, they're fun. There's something, like I was saying, there's something just so satisfactory about, like, starting and finishing an album in a day. Um, not that you have to do this in a day. I don't want to put that pressure on you. <laughs> but it's, it's totally doable. And as much time as I spent on this entire album, I could easily organize and drive myself crazy over a single layout. And that's totally unnecessary. You do not need to do that. And I kind of talked about this on Monday when I did the, or on Wednesday when I did the other live video on the little flip book there. It's like when you use, if you ought to use a collection pack of paper and maybe a coordinating embellishment or two, you don't have that worry. You don't have that, that angst of like being upset. Like, I don't know if this fits and getting all upset, you know, it's like, or if it matches, I guess I should say. Because it does. You don't have to worry about that. No need to drive yourself crazy. I think it'd be I think it's fun to layer stickers too. Um and I'm not being like super picky. Like I say, because I know this all coordinates. So this could totally fit in here. I could decorate the back side too. I could include ephemera or whatever. So that's fun to put in the pocket. And this pocket, like this is one of the cutouts. A few of these are the cutouts from one of the cutout part pages. So you can cut these apart and these can be fun to tuck in here. You could add photos on the back of them if you wanted to. I have, let's see, what do I have over here? We started a couple. Now these are meant to, oh, I, I did this on purpose. I wanted to show you. Just because these pages go this direction, portrait style, doesn't mean you have to have photos that go that way. I have a, um, a, a habit of taking most of my photos in this direction instead of this direction. So um, that's, what, that's what I'm gonna be putting in here is I'm just gonna go this way. And I, that's just, honestly, in this kind of a book, that just adds to all of this interaction. So turning, turning flipping we can go like this you know when they're when people are looking at it so I've already added a few let's add a few more photos and I'm certainly taking this um, the theme of this paper very seriously and doing <laughs> um, seaside photos but uh, you don't have to do it like that like I said this collection easily could be a very masculine one. I think you, it could go military style if you wanted to. Just it just all depends on the elements and the pieces that you pick out of it. You could pair it with some coordinating color cardstock to stretch it if you wanted to. I really like the backside of one of the cut apart papers as this blue uh, whitewash look, and I think that's kind of cool. See, I don't have, an, my fingernails are not happy with that. That's why this little pokey sticker thing is super handy. I'm gonna put this one down a little bit and break out my strips. Find one that I like, I like these stars. Just make a little mark for myself to where to cut it. There's fish on the back side. What are you thinking? Are you guys feeling like you're inspired to create?
create a mini book. <laughs> it's really quite fun. So there are some new product, there are some new collections. If you're a Graphic 45 fan, you may know that they are going to be releasing a couple of new collections uh, next month, which is right around the corner. And um, those will also be in Craft for Houses very, very soon. <laughs> Actually, I have been, I'm the paper crafts buyer for um, Craft for House, and I have been busy buying a lot of new things lately. And I'm excited to be sharing all that with you in upcoming videos. Paper, stamps, stickers, die cuts, all that good stuff. Okay, so you and then you would just continue decorating this however you want to. Now the cool thing is, if this is a gift, you could further personalize this, not only with journaling, but if it's a gift for a specific person, um, either on the cover or somewhere inside, you can write, you can add stickers, letter stickers or something to uh, that is in their name, or in a quote that is about them or for them much like you would do like in a greeting card. Um, and then you can also, I think, which would be very special if you're doing a mini album as a gift for somebody, is to include somewhere in the album, um, and it doesn't have to be on display, it doesn't have to be something that everybody's gonna see, just some sort of like in one of these hidden pockets or something. Um, it'd be very cool to write a note, include a note or a letter to the person you're, you are making it for, describing like, um, what that person means to you and why you and why you made them this this uh, mini album. I could include. There's some really cool like postcardy type papers from the collection. I could actually just. I think it'd be kind of cool to do this postcard one and then use the space for journaling. I think I'm gonna do that. Another cool thing, um, let me see, I'll show you how to do it. You could make, so I'm going to add this and I'm going to journal on top of it, right? You could turn this into yet another pocket very easily. So what I'm going to do is put very, I'm using this very strong tape. I'm going to make sure that it's mostly sealed on three sides only. Okay. So this side I'm not going to put any adhesive, which is the top of this. And then when I glue it down, I'm going to just give it a little bit of a pinch right here. And so that you can get into there. And we can put, you could put something, maybe a tag or something in there. Or like this element here, you, right over here, <laughs> you could use a circle punch, a circle punch, and cut a, and cut a little notch right there. Where's my pokey tool? Which state? Um, we have locations in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Do I have a circle punch, a smallish one? Mm -hmm. Is it a scallop or no? Ew. Mm -hmm. eh. I only found a gigantic circle punch. Don't know how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna hold my punch upside down and I'm only gonna punch not past the red, but I'm holding it upside down, I can see what I'm doing. Oh, a smaller one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, he's too tiny. This one will work. I have a helper. <laughs> that's good, that actually looked good. Okay, thank you. Okay, now I'll give it, sort of tack one corner and then I'm gonna pinch it a little bit and seal these three sides. Now I don't know if you can see, I have created a pocket right here so that I can slide in other photos. 
or more journaling, whatever I want to do. And I can journal right there. That's pretty cool. See how easy that was? And then I didn't have to add any more space. You certainly could um, put adhesive here and score it and add more on, on your waterfalls as well, which is a cool way to, it's a cool thing to add. Um, if you have made mini albums before, what kind of adhesive do you like to use? I got to meet um, a uh, an employee who works at the uh, Hazel store in Hazeldale, Vancouver, and she she loves to make mini albums. Um, and I asked her what kind of glue she likes to use. Her books are very very good, very nice, well put together books, and uh, she likes to use Fabri-Tac. I think she's what she said. Which I thought was interesting, but her books look her books are held together very well, so that might be another option for you. I've never even considered using Fabric Tac on it in a mini album, so. But hers looked great. So look at how fast this was put together. We could tuck more. I still have a couple more photos. Let's slide them in over here. What is this? Oh, cute little postcard. I just don't want her to go on that fold line. Should I add the seagull here? Because this doesn't make any sense anyway. <laughs> it's cool, but it's not. That's not the name of the lighthouse. So maybe I just do the seagull here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going for it. <laughs> Nobody's telling me no, don't do it. Like I say, I don't think you have to agonize over stuff. Just like whatever feels good to you. This is your scrapbook, your art. You know, I'm going to go over to this side a little bit. Give me a little room here for perhaps another sticker. Oh, I like this one. See how quickly I made that decision? I'm just like, whatever you're drawn to, because you know that this is all going to work. You can't mess up. That's what I love about this. Okay, my book is full. Let's, how many photos do I have in here? At least one, two, three, four, five, plus a couple, two or three postcards. Okay, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> okay. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35. <laughs> That's a whole lot. And then I just love the closure because it's like it's all this back and forth stuff. And it's I've been able to put paper on all parts of this. Even the binding out here is really cool. And you could label this side or this side. I think it would go and if you were to put it on a shelf, I think you would put your labels over here if you wanted to like name it like, you know, Seaside, Oregon or something. I could put one of my photos back here if I wanted to. But whatever you put on the outside, personally, I would probably cover this with maybe Mod Podge or some other kind of sealer, just because this is what's gonna get touched and moved and pushed against the most. I don't think these papers are gonna come off, not with this glue, they're not. But um, uh, it, it would just protect it a little bit from other elements. And also, I would, per I would let you guys know on if you choose a Mod Podge, you can choose either a matte, a satin, or a glossy finish. And personally, I like the look of a matte better, but I will say a gloss is way easier to dust. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> anyway, this was a fun album to put together, super fast. This would be an amazing gift to give to someone. I hope you guys are inspired and will make a, a gift soon. Oh, I see a bunch of hearts. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. 
Uh, don't forget to use the coupon this weekend. It's good. It's good on everything that's a white tag price. So if something is has on sale and it has a red sticker on it, you can still use the coupon. Just the, the coupon will come off of the white tag price is off. Okay, um, that's in our stores now, um, and that's good through Monday. And you can get that coupon. Just scroll down a little bit from this video, and you should see it. Um, and then we also have a giveaway going on. That's probably two posts down. We have a giveaway going on for Tombow pens, a two pack. So there's a way for you to enter that here on this Facebook page too. And if you're not already a member of any of our groups, I highly suggest you join the groups. We have a lot of fun over there. And if you join the paper crafts group this weekend, I have three huge giveaways going on over on the paper crafts group page. And if you go ahead and, and request access, we, we, we uh, go ahead and let you in right away. So it's a great time to do that. <laughs> okay. Thanks you guys so much. I will see you next time. Happy scrapping. <laughs>